Dr. Gimbel. This is an old case from 1992, before we had Vision Blue, to show the technique that I used, which we may have to rest uh, use if Vision Blue is not available in some situations. So I make a very small can opener capsulotomy for good control. And once I'm sure that I have a can opener, I'm just enlarging it a little now. If we can get these definite snips with a dull cystitome, they are fairly um, resistant to tearing further. The subincisional ones are the most difficult to to tear in that direction. So you can see I'm pushing away from me. I've had a lot of young surgeons and residents say, well, what's a can opener capsulotomy? <clears throat> well, this really illustrates a can opener capsulotomy that started small and then trying to enlarge it. So we're holding our breath now as we remove the nucleus that this won't extend. Any one of these little tears won't extend. And I would hesitate to use any kind of uh, splitting technique when we don't have an intact CCC. But fortunately, this lens broke up quite easily. And now, with viscoelastic and a good red reflex, we can convert this CCC by grasping one of the ends and tearing a continuous curvilinear capsulorexis around the can opener opening to achieve an intact capsulorexis opening. Again, this technique hopefully nobody has to resort to, but if in situations where viscoelastic, I mean, where vision blue is not available, this hopefully will be helpful. Thank you.